Hi, I'm Re from mummyofour.com. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I am doing a video that has been requested a few times and it is reading your assumptions about me, which is a bit scary really. So I've asked on my Instagram stories for your assumptions about me and I'm going to read them out and react to them and let me let you know if they're right or not. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I would love, love, love it if you would subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. My videos are all about, generally, other than this one, parenting, tips, tricks, hacks and advice, everything that I have had to figure out the hard way having four children that I aim to tell you so you don't have to learn the hard way like I did. Okay, so let's dive right in, shall we, to anyone else nervous or just me? Okay, so first assumption. You are obsessed with things that are pink and to do with ballet. All right, that's pretty true. Pink is very much, look, I've got pink nails at the moment. Pink is very much my favorite color. And look, I have ballet on my phone case. And yes, if there's anything with ballet dancers on it, I'd buy it for the girls. You know, the girls have got everything Kath Kidson has ever made with a ballet dancer on it. All the dresses and the bags and yeah, I think it's very pretty. I did ballet when I was younger. Um, Ironically, I always thought I wouldn't be able to make, I wanted to be a ballet dancer when I grow up, but I thought I'd be too tall. I'm five foot four. I was never going to be too tall, so that's not an issue. So perhaps if I'd stuck at it, but yeah, I was convinced from a very young age I was never going to be able to make it as a professional ballet dancer because I was going to be too tall. Clearly, don't give up on your dreams for silly ideas, people. Okay, moving on. Um, you always knew you were going to have a big family. Nope. <laughs> we, um... I can remember we planned to have Will, and we were like, right, okay, two is enough, we'll stop. Um, and then, um, so I can remember thinking when I had Will, and he was a boy, and I'd just given birth. Thank goodness you're a boy, and none of my children will ever have to go through what I just went through, which is childbirth. And then when he was, I don't know, around a year and a half old, my husband said, like, oh, let's have another one. And then we tried me have Bella. And then... Zara was a miracle baby. I don't say surprise or accident, she's a miracle baby because I was convinced that um, I wouldn't be able to have any more without more fertility treatment. I have fertility treatment for the middle two um, because I've got polycystic ovaries. I've got a whole video all about that, which I'll pop up here now if you're interested in me wittering on about my fertility struggles. Um, but yeah, so I thought I wouldn't be able to have any more. And so I said to my husband, I thought belt and braces, I said to my husband, go and have this snack. And he's like, mm, I'm not sure I'm done having children. And he said this because he knew if he said that to the GP, there's no way in a million years they would let him have the procedure. So he thought he was very clever. And then it was like, oh, I'm pregnant. So apparently the only thing to fix polycystic ovaries is indeed pregnancy, just like they said, which is really rubbish advice if you're trying to get pregnant. But apparently it's true so no I did not always know I was going to have a big family it was going to be two and then it was going to be three and then Zara the bonus so wonderful but no not in the plans uh right okay next assumption you never get cross with or shout at your kids oh it's so lovely that people think that um I will always try and as I've said before many a time channel my inner Mary Poppins and be like come along darling come along la, 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 la. we don't do it like that la, 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 la. and you know just, I just think of Julie Andrews saying close your mouth Michael we are not a codfish I think it's one of my favorite lines from any film ever ever so while I do always attempt to channel my inner Mary Poppins Julie Andrews is sometimes a little beyond my reach and I do I shout at my children sometimes and then I think oh god Okay, I've got to handle that better. But it's because people, newsflash, I'm human. And we all do it. So, no, I I would love to say that that's true, but it's not. Uh, right, next one. Really lovely, down to earth. Also a great mum uh, to do to your babies. You do everything you can for them. Oh, well, that's really, really sweet. Um, I do try and do everything I can for my babies. Do I feel like I fall short sometimes? Yes. Do I feel like I do more? Yes. Um, I think it's probably just mum guilt. Um, I think we all feel like that. Let me know in the comments. Do we all feel like that? I think we do. Um, but yes, that's a very lovely comment. Thank you so much. Uh, next one. You're way too hard on yourself. <laughs> Possibly, but aren't we all? Um, and I do about 90% of everything for the kids and hubby. Possibly. <laughs> That might be true. Next one. Um, Meredith Grey is your spirit animal. Yes. 
if you've ever watched my stories, I'm kind of obsessed with Grey's Anatomy. I will never quite get over them killing off um, Derek Shepherd because he's the only man I would leave my husband for. Um, and they went and killed him off. Um, devastating, really. Um, but yes, I am obsessed with Grey's Anatomy. It's awesome. If you haven't watched it, because I did a poll on my stories the other day and something like 60% of people had never seen Grey's Anatomy. People, you are missing out. Go and watch Grey's Anatomy immediately. There are like 15 series or something. Um, there's a good, you know, few days, weeks of your life binge watching that gone, but it's time well spent. Seriously, go and do it now. Uh, next one. You are very organized. Oh, I do try to be. Do I feel like I could be more organized? Always. But, and I, everyone says, I, like, everyone always says to me, you're quite organized. And I don't always feel like I'm more organized than everyone else, but other people think I'm more organized than other people. So, um, kind, helpful, friendly, and fantastic mummy. Oh, well, that's just so lovely. Thank you. Uh, next one. You have your stuff together. Um, oh, well, that's nice too. Full of energy. I am full of energy until I burn out. I'm like, go, 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 go. And then sometimes I'm like, ah, flat. Just, I think I, I burn the candle at both ends and I, I'm up early because I've got to be with the children and I work late because at the same time I can fit it in. And then, um, from time to time I'm like, well, it's seven o'clock and I have to go to bed now or I might cry. Next one. <laughs> oh dear. You drink wine every day. <laughs> Not every day, people. It might seem like that. I do have a glass of wine on many an evening, but it's one glass of wine. So rather than like binge drinking on the weekends, it's healthier, isn't it? To spread it through the week. I don't know. Let me know. Um, so no, I don't drink every night. But clearly if people watch my stories think I drink every night, I maybe I need to get back. <laughs> okay, next one. Your husband doesn't agree with your work choice my husband doesn't understand it my husband is older than me by 16 years um so basically he doesn't understand what I do at all it was not let's face it um I did a careers even uh, day helping out my ch children's school the other day and they said did I always want to be a blogger when I grew up and I said guys <laughs> it wasn't invented when I was your age so no I did not always want to be a blogger um he doesn't understand what it is really now that when I certainly when I started he was like all playing on the computer and you know very unhelpful um and didn't understand it at all didn't understand how he could ever make money out of it he's come from very bricks and mortar business background he was in retail before his own business he um he's also a builder he's in construction he built the oh, I remember he built the house we live in he's very very practical and he's great um and he's very lovely and he adores me but he doesn't understand what I do. Now that I am obviously making a living out of it, he is a lot more understanding than he was. He still doesn't get it. He just doesn't get it. But, you know, what's uh, lot, what's that saying? You know, other people's opinion of me and none of my business and all that. I just try not to let it get to me. He doesn't get it. He doesn't understand. Can't help it. Hold. Um, right. Uh, next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. Okay. You don't go out with your friends as much as you want to. Hmm. Um, I don't go out much. I certainly don't go out, like, out, out much. Like, you know, like, out, proper out, out. Um, I do occasionally. I certainly didn't. I don't think I left any of them before their first birthday at all. <laughs> at all, at all. So before they were all one, I don't think I left them once. I, I might have left. There left for 30 minutes while I went to the dentist because I was in so much pain. It was like labour in my face once when she was six months. But yeah, for the first year of each of their lives, I didn't leave them at all. And then after that, I did, um, when they got to the stage where they were sleeping, you know, from seven till like a night feed, I go out very occasionally. My husband and I probably get two date nights a year where we go out out together. Um, I am actually going out with well, over to a friend's house for a glass of wine because it's two of my friend's birthdays. So I think I will probably be doing that on Friday. So that's out. Um, do I do it as much as I want to? I can't get everything in. There's only 20, so many hours in a day. I'm very much aware that that it won't always be this hard. I think that I forget that I've had small baby. I've had children in nappies for seven years straight. There was a gap between my eldest two. Um, but I've had children in nappies for seven years straight and 
most people don't have that. Most people have a break from the babies and, and stuff. And eventually I won't be dealing with prams and nappies and all that stuff. And I will have more time. And eventually they'll all be in full-time school, by which time I will have designed myself the perfect job because I can work during the day. I can be totally flexible. I can actually have time off like a normal human in the evenings. But at the moment, the time I can work is while they're napping, I get like an hour in the day. I can maybe do a bit with Zara when Zara's around in the morning. And then after that, it's got I've got to work after they go to bed. So I really, I know what I'm doing now is to build myself a job and a life I love around my children that will one day be easier than this. And then I will have more time. So I don't mind that I don't have much time because I work every evening because I know what it's for. Does that make any sense? Was that even the question? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm just rambling. Um, your whole life is dedicated to children, to housework and children. Wow, that makes it sound a bit sad, doesn't it? Um, I do um, have, obviously have to spend a lot of time staying on top of things because there are so much of it. So much of us, so many of us, and there's just so much to do. And yes, the children, my life does revolve around the children as well. Obviously I'm working as well now. Maybe a bit that is sort of true, but that makes it sound really sad. <laughs> so yeah, but in a good way. <laughs> Uh, right, next one. I'm crazy busy and never sleep. Well, I, I touched on this, didn't I? I do work late most nights. I have to get up about quarter of 20 past six in the morning in order to get the children, get myself ready and get the children ready. Um, if you want to see our morning routine, I'll pop it up here um, just to see how, uh, why I've got to get up that early in the morning to get everything done. Um, and then I do work late, like I said earlier on in this video, um, most evenings just to fit everything in. So I do sleep, but then once I finish working late, I can't quite just switch off and go straight to sleep. I've got to have like a little, you've got to have a bit of time of near like half an hour of just watching Grey's Anatomy. Um, so I don't, I probably don't sleep as much as, I, I think, I feel like I run up a sleep debt. And then I get, as you know, I get every sort of 10 to 14 days, I think it is. I should put it on the calendar, really, and figure out how often it happens. But I basically, like I said earlier, burn out and I'm like, oh, I'm so tired. I'm going to cry or throw up or both. And I have to go to sleep as soon as the children go to sleep. So, I, yeah. And I do a lot of laundry. Well, yeah, that's totally true. Totally, totally, totally true. Okay, next one. I'm calm and collected. Oh, well, that's a lovely assumption to have about me. Am I calm? I try to be. I aspire to be. Um, <laughs> the next one, that you're a fab and an inspiration to us mums everywhere. Oh, how are you lots so lovely? I'm going to end up crying on women YouTube. Um, I'm bubbly in a chatterbox. Yes. <laughs> in fact, when I was little, my auntie, who is basically my mum, used to call me bossy boots as well. So... The girls who are little bossy boots, apparently, just like I was when I was little. So, I don't know, it's just goes around, comes around, all that. Um, uh, I generally thought you were a sleep trainer, then realised you're not. No, I'm not a sleep trainer. I do lots of videos, uh, I will put some up here, um, about the things that I've picked up to help mums help their babies sleep for as long as their babies are capable of sleeping for their appropriate age in a really gentle way because that's all the stuff that I've had to pick up and learn the hard way and all the stuff that I just wish someone had said, do you know what, Ray? This is what you need to know. So that's why I've kind of put it all together for you guys. It's all the kind of research and stuff that I've done, all the best of it that I have spent hours, you know, reading through in the middle of the night because I'm so tired and ready to cry, trying to come up with a solution. That's the stuff I share and it's the stuff that I find works. And in summary, I find that if you have a structured routine, your whole life can be held together. Um, because you can fit in everything you need to fit in and you can make sure your baby has enough food and enough sleep at the right times and things like that. So I shall pop um, my routine Q&A up here, which answers all of that. But yeah, basically not a sleep trainer, just a fan of all the little tips and tricks that I've picked up, which I hope will help people. Um, I'm very patient and love being a mum. Oh. Am I patient? I try and be patient with my children. I try. I don't always manage it. Am I patient in life? Absolutely not. I am so impatient. I can't wait for something to deliver 
you know, <laughs> something's coming next day delivery. It's not quick enough. I want something. I want everything done yesterday. I'm very driven. I try, so I try and be patient with my children, but in life generally, I'm horribly impatient. If we decide we want to, like we decide we want to do a laundry room out or whatever, it has to be done now, yesterday. Um, yeah, I'm horribly impatient. So if I decide I wanted, you know, how many subscribers on the YouTube thing, or I want to achieve something with my blog or with my channel or with my business, I want it done yesterday. So yeah, in generally, not patient at all. I think they're all, I think most, they're most of the ones. Then I've got some other assumptions that are sort of similar ones about, um, uh, about, you know, generally not, uh, not getting out enough. <laughs> Yeah, not getting out enough and being quite organised, which, like I said, I try to be. I try to be. I try to be. I've, I find if I wasn't organised, my whole life would fall to bits. Um, so I always aspire to be more organised. Um, and I will come up with, as I come up with more and more hacks to become more organised, I shall share them with you. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you would like to see any more of this type of video, um, or in fact, scrap that. Tell me in the comments which other types of videos you want to see from me. There we go. That's better. Um, and let me know which sorts of types of videos you want to see exactly um, or any questions you've got, anything like that. Pop them in. I'll get them on my list of videos to, to do. I'll film them. You can watch them. Um, so thank you for watching. If you have liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and all that good stuff. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you guys very, very soon.